Okay guys, I've got a new favourite incantation and this thing is cool. It's called the Aspects of the Crucible Tail. And this thing is mental. Now I don't care what any of you lot call me in the comment sections for this one. But this one is probably one of my favourites and one you're going to see in a lot of future videos. Mainly because once the animation has started, you cannot disrupt the attack whatsoever. Not only that, but if you are surrounded, this thing is extremely good. And you can tell it's just wiping out anything that it can comes into contact with which is pretty damn crazy and this is now my favorite but we're going to show you guys how to get it so like subscribe and let's get on to this okay so we are going to want to start off here this is right next to margaret's castle and we're going to be heading over to the storm hill shack this is literally right at the beginning you guys should all have access to this and as long as you're of a decent level you should be okay with doing this now what we're actually going to do myself now because I really want to start showing off some of the the build works that we're doing right now is I I'm going to put on some really weird tiers and we're going to show you why in just a minute but all the same we are also going to be running the double ash of war royal knights remains and the reason why we're using the double on this one is solely because you can actually stack them so stacking up the royal Nice. So it remains it is going to cause quite a lot of damage to any sort of magical ability that I utilize for a longer period of time. So this is going to be something that we're running and this is a build I'm currently working on, hence why this isn't a build video, but there is a bit of method to the madness to say the least. So with that being said, let's go and jump to where we've got to go. Okay, so from here in the Stormhill Shack, we are going to be wanting to heading southeast, and this is going to take us down to the portal ring at the bottom. This is quite a simple get to, and once you are there, we are going to have some fun. And I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to showing you guys what it is that I'm working on right now, because I am not generally the build guy. Builds are not my thing whatsoever, but for some reason in this game, I am really, really intrigued to actually see what it is that I can do with some of the funkiest stuff that's available. Anywho, with that being said, we are going to go directly southeast, and if you pop a marker on like I have, it will send a blue glowing light into the sky. You can see it directly anyway. But yes, so we are here, and we have got the giant storm hill Evergold, and this is going to be teleporting us to a different location to face a very fun boss. Now, this boss is not very difficult, again, depending on your level as always, but you want to make sure that you keep your distance. You're about to see why in just a second, because I don't keep my distance right at the beginning, and I thought that I was going to be really, really overpowered for this, but yeah, that's the that's, that's first attack. <laughs> it still took just over a thousand damage down, so we're working on it, we're working on it. The build is going to be done eventually, but like I said, keep your distance. If you can get those magic spells off, if that's the build that you've got, then go for it, and he will do a sort of fly-in attack. You want to make sure that you avoid that as well. If you keep your distance, you manage to get those longer range shots off, then this just becomes really, really easy because he actually soaks them up pretty well. But yes, once we've taken him out, it is going to be there for your taking. The aspects of the Crucible tail, and this is really, really fun. I don't actually know any other incantation that I really use, mainly because I feel like the animations are way too long on it. But the pers personally, the best part about this is that the animation is still a part of the tack, and that's the best bit. There is no real build-up. It happens quite quickly. You can do two spins in concession as long as you keep your finger on it. And it just works really, really well. Let me know what you guys are thinking about it down in the comments section. I really enjoy it. But yeah, that's my opinion. Like, subscribe. Appreciate your faces. And as always, I'll see you in the clouds.